the popular body figure was full figured but women wore tight corsets to make their stomachs smaller and their busts bigger. In the 1950s, Malaro Mo set a new standard for women. At this point, a large bust line and voluptuous curves was the in thing. In the 1960s, Twiggy once again altered the preferred body image to slim and slender. She had the figure of a prepubescent boy and weighed very little. Since then, slender figures have become more and more important. In the 1990s, the popular figure was slim and large busts. <laughs> Obviously, a hard figure to achieve. In today's society, there's a pressure to be thin for celebrities and everyday girls. Only 5% of women can achieve the size of models. So what affects people's perception on body image? Advertisement has a huge influence over body image. It creates a favoured but a false body image, usually only achievable by the model themselves. That's our video on body image. Just remember, it's hard to be someone else's body type. So flaunt what you've got. So flaunt what you've got. <laughs> so that <laughs> type. So <laughs> our body image dep uh, varies depending on our yeah. own views and our own thing. Large fat storage. Wait, I forgot. High tech. Sorry. <laughs> In the 1800s, a full-figured woman was the put. Well. <laughs> figured. That didn't make any sense. You can hear noises. In fashion, I don't know, I got that. I set a new standard for women. In the, uh, the, 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 in the 1950s, Mallory Mummer, Mummer, Happy birthday to you.